Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 912 East 9th Street here in Newburgh. We're located at the right side of the home. We're straight out from the rear right corner of the house if you're looking at the front of the home from the street. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. And if it gets buried again, it is directly straight out from this rear right corner vent. Now we're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. We're going through some standing water here. Looks like a pretty short little belly. We'll see how this all drains out at the end. It's a very short section of pipe, though. I typically, where I typically start to see toilet paper collect in lines is once you have right around three quarters to one inch of standing water static with no water running at all inside. Um, and right around the four to five foot length is where I typically start to see debris collect. Still quite livable at that point. Um, the biggest thing, if you don't do any repairs on these types of things, you just want to make sure you're not putting anything down the line it shouldn't go down there and then we have another belly here this one is quite a bit more significant the line right here is completely full of water the water is going all the way up to the top of the camera i'm sorry the top of the pipe all right we right here we have a y connection we're going to go just a little further a lot of these houses in newburgh now they're they're y connecting every other home together at the curb we're at the sidewalk, we're just going to go a little further here and see if we hit a main. But we're now in 3034 PVC pipe. And there's the main lateral connection there at 88 feet. I'm going to do locates to verify where this is at exactly. And then we'll let the pipe drain out completely. We're going to have at least one belly to correct. Um, the other belly there, more than anything, we'll see how it drains out, but I'll likely recommend two spot repairs there. It's really, if you're going to be doing that amount of digging, there's no reason to leave any bellies there on the ground. All right, located the camera head successfully out the main on East 9th Street. Well, it looks like the uh, this line here is Y connected with the house directly to the right of this. Well, at least as best I can tell, that's the direction that Y is coming in. Which again, is very, very common in newer developments in Newburgh. belly ends here at 65 feet. I'm going to put a marking down on the ground here. And it looks like there's some paint on the ground already. I'm going to go and just double check those markings. All right, put a big white X on the ground here. This is, if you're looking at the front of the house from the street, this is to the right of the driveway. Actually, as you cut, there's a little, there used to be a tree. This line's kind of skirting around that tree. Uh, but my white X marking is where the belly ends. There's some other, someone else has done paint markings out there. Their markings go beyond where the belly ends at. Uh, so just watch for the X. Anything beyond that point, the line's draining fine there and is in good shape. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, the, the line here is completely full of water, whether you've got water running or not. We've got three inches of standing water in the pipe there, which poses a very high risk for uh, debris buildup and a blockage. The only thing that would really make the belly worse is if it were longer. So it's as about as bad as they get. So it looks like this belly here extends from 54 feet to 65 feet. We are at 6 feet 4 inches deep at the end of the belly. All right, I've got a white X at each end of the belly. We're at 4 feet 7 inches deep at the start of the belly here. And 6 foot 4 by the time you hit the end of it. And I've removed the excess paint markings that are out there. Whoever sculpted it last time was making the belly about six feet bigger than it actually is. Although you often sometimes have to go that much further to correct the belly. But my markings are mapping out the exact dimensions of the belly. And no more than that. 
Now we've got this other belly here in the ground, closer back in here. We're going to take a look at that. Um, I'm going to I'm going to recommend a repair on it. it. It's when you're doing this amount of digging out here, there's no reason at all to leave any belly. Now this one is, is significantly less troublesome as the other one. At this point right here, we're at about a quarter inch. And right here, we're at about a half of an inch of standing water. Anyway, I recommend a correction here. Normally, this is not a belly that would scare me a whole lot. It's just when, when you're going to be doing a repair right next to this, not that this belly couldn't cause you any problems. Um, it's just fairly unlikely to, unless you're putting things down the line that should not be going down there. Oh, and this belly dissipates out at about 27 feet. All right, we're three feet, nine inches deep here. We're just behind the, the big gate on the right side of the house. Belly ends right before that gate. And this also will be mapped out with, with an X at each end of the belly. And this belly starts here at 24 feet. So not, a, not a terribly long belly from 24 feet to 27 feet. It's roughly three or four feet long. We're, we're kind of rounding up here. It's actually 23 feet, 10 inches. So anyway, I do recommend a uh, correction to fix this as well. And this will also have a wide X at each end. All right, in this section here, it's actually right, right about four feet long looking at the uh, paint markings here with about a half inch of standing water there at its worst point. I recommend spot repairs to correct the bellies from 23 feet to 27 feet. That is at three feet, nine inches deep at each end. And then the really significant belly from 54 to 65 feet, that one is at four feet seven at the start of the belly, about six feet, four inches deep at the end. And I highly recommend a rescope after the repairs are done. A lot of these issues happen right at the time of installation. Someone doesn't compact the ditch right, they bury it, and then the pipe can't support the weight on top of it, and it settles. You do want to make sure you're doing a rescope, make sure that everything looks good before the repair guys walk away. Now, and I've removed all the excess paint markings. This belly back here was going to be more like eight feet long. Um, so I, just look, watch for the white X's there at each end. That's the exact dimensions of the belly. Aside from that, the rest of the pipe we've just scoped is in good shape, has good flow and is functioning properly. Right now, with the bellies in there, the line is at very high risk for a, for a debris blockage to, to form. I would recommend getting that taken care of as soon as possible, especially if you have more than about one person living in the house.